now consider a system which is having n cpu processors and m processors okay watch it n is the cpu processors processors means the uh, cores right and m processors processors means the program then uh, what is the relationship between all this they are asking uh, if you how many states how many processors okay so the question is how many processors can be present in ready state in running state in block state at minimum at maximum that is what they are asking okay now watch it now at ready state how many process can be present at minimum so minimum number of process that can be present in this ready state can be zero why there could be no process at all right and how many how many can be present at maximum in this so that depends on long term scheduler whatever it uh, it could schedule but then the maximum number possible could be m because we have totally m number of process that is what they are saying and next one next thing is running so how many process can be uh, running minimum zero which means no process could be running because all the all of them got blocked if everything got, gets blocked you may not be able to run anything then how many process can be running at maximum that depends on the number of processors you have right if you have n processors then the number of processors that will be running is n then what about blocked so how many process will be in the blocked state blocking means uh, they got blocked right at minimum zero which means all the process need not be no process might need any io if everything is cpu bound then all the process will be either in the running or in the ready state right and how many process can be in the block state at maximum all the process might need you know uh, io therefore all of them can go to this block state at the same time got it so this is the answer this is the table